I first flew when I was just 11 years old. I remember it really clearly. I was getting really angry because Billy Watkins kept giving me dead arms in PE and I just sort of rose up. And before I know it, I was straight through the gym roof and then I was in the open blue sky looking down at Stevenage, which looked so small and fragile, like a, a model village. I sat up there the whole day until a man in a helicopter coaxed me down with the promise of ice cream. Then came the questions and the interviews and the celebrity talk shows, the boy who could fly. I had a publicist, I had a style guru, and I had someone who literally would open doors for me. I had a book that was ghostwritten for me, that was the number one bestseller. I had a film that was a huge hit on Netflix. But the real question everyone wanted to ask was, when would I fly again? Good question which I asked myself for the next 20 years. And after many failed experiments, I came to the conclusion that I never would see Stevenage from the aerial point of view again. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. I've been married and divorced three, no, sorry, four times. And I'm broke and I'm lost and I, I don't understand why I can't fly anymore. And then I thought, Maybe I need a jolt, a trigger like that dead arm Billy Watkins gave me. So here I am, on the roof, and it's cold, but I'm about to bid my cares goodbye. I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. <laughs>